All right, welcome back into the Reno You Know. I am your host, Steve, and this is going to be a little different episode than what we normally do. Uh, there's big transitions in my life. I wanted to share that with you and uh, uh, also uh, tell you about the special event that I'm actually headed on my way to right now. Uh, the big news in my life currently is I am retiring. I turned 60 years old here in three or four days, and that was the line that I drew in the sand. I didn't want to work uh, much past my 60th birthday and uh, did a lot of planning upstream uh, to make it happen. So this coming week is my last week as a uh, full-time working stiff. And some nice guys, really cool people, uh, at my uh, uh, employer invited me to this event tonight where, where I'm uh, headed towards the Stremel Art Gallery and I'll explain what's going on here in just a second. Uh, as, as part of that big tr retirement transition, I had three major projects on my list. The big three for me were, number one, I had to get a new car or a new to me car, which we're actually in right now. I just, I got a Jeep Wrangler. Uh, the cool thing about that uh, for this channel is uh, I can go off-road now. I haven't been able to go off-road uh, uh, for several years, so I'll be able to uh, hopefully go to some uh, cool locations that uh, I hadn't been able to get to before. So that's that's good for good for the channel. Uh, so I had to sell my existing vehicle. Uh, I had a sales route, and uh, for many years that was uh, I had to go to Carson City, Gardnerville, Nevada, and Dayton, Nevada. Uh, every working day and I was putting 125 miles uh, a day on my car. And I got that car, a Kia Sportage, uh, in, just before the pandemic in 2019. And I just sold it a couple days ago and I had put 135,000 miles on that car just, just running that route. So that car was tired. I was able to sell it for, for a good amount, a lot more than I thought. And I, I picked up this Jeep. So that was the number one thing on my list. Number two was I had to get a new phone. I've been using the same iPhone that my, my company issued iPhone for, for uh, uh, nine years. And I got to turn that in next week. So I had to go out and get a new phone, get a new phone number and, and uh, notify all my friends of, of my uh, uh, new number. So that was number two. And then number three, I'm negotiating Sierra Street here in downtown Reno. Number three was I had to get health insurance. I'm turning 60 and of course, Medicare doesn't kick, kick in till 65. So uh, uh, I've been uh, dealing with the uh, Nevada Health Link, the ACA, uh, uh, program and uh, this coming week I'll have that all dialed in. So that was my my uh, main pro main project. Those were my main projects. So at the Stremel Art Gallery tonight, there's a uh, there's a dinner, and afterwards, maybe before, I'm not sure. I will be tasting twenty four thousand dollars in bourbon. What's that you say, Steve? Yes, $24,000 in bourbon. And here's how I, I got that math. Uh, this bourbon is called OFC, stands for Old Fashioned Copper. And this is the top shelf bourbon from B the Buffalo Trace Distillery. And uh, uh, each bottle is uh, engraved crystal with uh, uh, copper lettering. Each bottle, if you look up online, retail is $5,999 a bottle, six grand a bottle. And we're gonna taste a flight of four. And I think it's 1993, 1994, 95, and 1996 that these were distilled. Uh, this this bourbon is, is aged far longer than, than any typical bourbon, uh, which gives it, uh, is, is sure to give it a, a more enhanced character from all that aging. So uh, I'm super excited to try this. Again, some really cool guys at, at my work are included me uh, as kind of a, a parting retirement gift to be able to do this. So uh, come along with me. I'm sure excited about this and I'm, I, I, I'm happy to share the experience with you. So let's get to it.
want to extend my gratitude and thanks to all of you for coming out tonight. Um, it means the world to me seeing this place filled up and with the whiskey we're about to drink. Um, we quite literally wouldn't be here without the support of people like you, clients like you, family, customers. I mean, you know, it's just, uh, I'm kind of speechless. Uh, you know, I want to give a special thanks to the Southern team for making this all happen. You know, these guys have been, you know, like family. You know, I grew up with Toby. Toby has watched me grow up. And, yes, I have. So. <laughs> what were you doing in 1993? This was distilled in 1994 and aged for 25 years until 2019. There's only 1,008 bottles of this in the world. It's 30 years old. 1995. Unbelievable. This was distilled in 1996. I was 32 years old. All right, I'm going to wrap this up with a special treat that they brought out. A uh, 1991 Blanton's that was a Japanese export and somehow made it back into the United States. 1991 Blanton's. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity to, to taste these things. Where else are you going to do a vertical flight of OFC and get a 1991 Blanton's? Uh, I'm just happy to share this experience with you and I'm really looking forward to the, the future of the Reno you know and uh, making more content for you nice folks. So, as Harold S. Smith Sr. of Harold's Club always said, I'm with you. Cheers.